Well, I've disassembled my um, old 270 here. It's not the best uh, rifle in the world there. It's a 770 piece of shit, really. But, um, it's good to play around with, but I figured, you know, uh, I was thinking a long time ago, I was like, man, why don't they make a, a an electric firing pin instead of a gas uh, feedback, force feedback? So, uh, I rigged up a little thing just to see what the concept would look like and um, basically it's a device that's got about uh, I want to say 250 pounds of torque or 250 pounds right there on that when it uh, has pressure uh, it's a lot of pressure now it'll put a, it'll put an indent in the bullet I already tried and uh, I figured it would probably would fire it but in order to have a system you'd have to have a, a automatic load and, and uh, extraction and extraction and uh, load system you know for this to be feasible but it looks pretty cool actually you know freaking I don't know how easy it'd be to um, to machine it but I'm sure somebody out there might be able to give it a try. I just got it rigged up to my uh, little automatic um, weapon here. Okay, so that's a, that's what an electric trigger would look like. Ain't no play in it. Ain't no feedback. Nothing like that, man. It's just all electric. You could rig it right up. I imagine you could rig it up to a system. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, if you got a machine shop and everything, you could probably machine your own stuff. You know, I think the military's got some electric weapons out there already, but uh, I haven't seen any out in the field myself. I'm sure SF's probably got some. If you can get it to extract around and load another one, she'll. She keep on getting it, boy. I mean, you obviously would have to assemble a machine, everything together, get everything to line up. Might take you about a year or two to get it right, but that'd be pretty cool, man. Freaking fully automatic. There's a lot of pressure in that thing. Don't let it fool you. Look at all the weight I got on that to hold it down. Man, that's like 50 pounds to hold that thing down. <laughs> Basically, in order for us to work, you got you'd have to have something just kind of like we got on the um, we have on the M4s. You know, the spring instead of the spring keeping it this way, the spring actually pushes it out, and and the force feedback and the buffer spring kicks it back in. You know, so you got to um, you got to uh, the gas in for the gas kicks it back out but you could actually take the reverse scenario and use like a, a spring or whatever it'd have to be freaking some really good shit though it can be a little little jerry rig that i made right there you know that shit don't even go with it i just made that shit <laughs> that ain't how it works this is this is actually designed to to have a spring um it's over here somewhere to have a spring that actually compresses it and then when you squeeze the trigger it releases on this thing and it and it pulls up and it allows this to pop out or whatever which then um uh, freaking makes the firing pin hit the uh, fire pin hit the charge or whatever and it's pretty interesting how this works how, how that I, I was I like taking that bolt apart and kind of see how how it worked there you know it's pretty cool to uh, because it's, it's reverse it's actually kind of like a reverse concept of what you would normally think normally think your fire and fire pin goes through like that but with this concept here the fire pin when it goes out the fire pin kicks ahead you know so cool man